mental illness. <laughs> it's a chemical imbalance that can make you see things that aren't there, hear things that aren't there, make you extremely happy or horribly depressed. It's the same symptoms as being in love. Love is mental illness, because love will actually make you check into a mental hospital for three months to protect your family, your best friend, and your girlfriend from being prosecuted. And I'm not mad about that, you know? And just because those three months turned into eight years, I'm not, I'm, I'm not mad. But today, I get out. Yeah, and it's been eight years. And, and they're, they're late to pick me up. And I am not mad. <laughs> oh, it's my therapist. Dr. Bunny Buddy Snuggles McFluffer, PhD. I'm not mad. He says I'm making progress. <laughs> All right, we got one week until Titus gets out of the mental hospital. No, that's not right. Uh, the home, mm. too elderly. Yeah. Brain rehabilitation facility. Hey, do you think Titus will still know how to speak English? Or will he be all like... Dave, he was in a mental hospital, not running a taco truck. Oh God, that sounds racist. Hispanic dining motorhome. Plus, you know, they put him on medication. I just hope that he's not all like a zombie. Well, if he is, I will detox him. I'll strap him down to a bed, and even if he hallucinates and screams, I'll get that monkey off his back. If he dies, hmm? well, he dies. Dave! <laughs> I know I asked you to do that so that I, I could feel him, but it never works. You gotta come up with your own thing. Oh, um. Ow! It's better. Where's Papa Titus? All right, he went down south for business. Hey, yeah. when Titus gets back, we let him know he don't run stuff. Yes. Right. Because we killed it while he was gone. Mm -hmm. Huh? In fact, we did better than he did when he was here. Yeah! Uh -huh. I am. <sighs> Noticed Aaron is stoked about Titus coming back next Saturday. She's like way, way happier. Well, she's not happy because of Titus. I wonder if Titus will even recognize her. Like those, like those chimps they sent into outer space. What? Yeah, when they came back from orbiting the Earth, they don't even recognize their own families. I think it's because when you're a big fancy astronaut, you don't want to hang out with people who throw their own poop. Yet I have to. Titus, you escaped? Why didn't you pick me up? Ow, that was perfect. God, I missed that. Hang on. You busted out without us? Oh, that's great. I go out and get a brand new balaclava, but nobody cares. <laughs> Titus family rule 342. If you're in a locked facility and you write a letter to your family, don't put any amusing thoughts or hopes about breaking out, because your family may know the meaning of the word love, <laughs> but not know the meaning of the word felony. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? We're busting you out. What? Prepare to fly, little birds. Stay deep. Hard to queen six. Checkmate. Damn it! <laughs> so is it true what they say about the crazy chicks? <laughs> you ruined it! <laughs> That was right before my mental evaluation. And because of it, two years was added to my recovery because Tommy and Dave are raging morons. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Facts don't need quotes. Sorry. Dave, when do I get out? Next Saturday. Hmm, yet <laughs> I'm here. It is a quandary. Uh, Ow. Dave. Ow. No, no. I mean, what the hell, guys? I'm getting out of a mental hospital, and then you guys don't pick me up and make me wait for hours. Well, time is an imaginary construct. Created by a man to enslave us. <laughs> oh, wait, is it the summer solstice? Uh, I don't know. We're not druids. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. Time is an imaginary construct. <laughs> I got it. All right, here it is. 
Dad's iPad that I am banned from using. Uh, did you erase his porn again? <laughs> By accident. <laughs> All right, uh, summer solstice, summer, here it is. This year, the summer solstice is, ooh, I'm on the wrong paleo-pagan calendar. Oh, well that explains absolutely nothing. This is a Wiccan calendar. It's a week off the Neo-Norse. It's a simple mistake. Yeah, when they were building Stonehenge. But where the hell is Dad? What, you don't smell lingering cigarette smoke and barley and hops burped through a pizza? <laughs> it is faint. So he's been gone like a week? Oh, you're good. Damn it. I, guys, I need him here. Hey, call him. Yeah, on, uh, on the tablet. Yeah, they got this uh, new thing. It's called Face to Face. You can actually see and talk to someone without any fear of their halitosis. What? Oh, there he is. I'm busy. Hey, 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 Dad, I'm out. <laughs> Your little boy is home. What? The moron said it was next week. Blame the weekends. Quiet, homeschool. Hello, Mr. Titus. You two peaches. Dave? Yeah. Are you using my iPad? <laughs> well, you're not here. So what you gonna do, old man? Nothing. Unless this stun gun security app works. What? <laughs> Don't touch my stuff. Dad, where the hell are you? Mexican whorehouse. Uh, yes! Damn it! What? Sucker bet. Uh, I bet that he was out buying you a welcome home Mylar balloon bouquet. <laughs> I can dream. It's what my mom bought me when I came home from the Sunrise Boys Camp. Boys Camp? Is that the first time you rode another man's kayak? It's hard to stop. Dad, leave him alone. He's my best friend. And I need you here. I have a big announcement. Well, had Num Nuts not messed up the date, I would have been there. I was trying to get bad Ken out of my system before you got home. There's, There's a, a good, good Ken? Ken? Yes, good Ken makes tacos. Bad Ken uh, is like that weird uncle that shows up once a year because sometimes he punches grandma on Thanksgiving. <laughs> what you can say about my dad, though, at least he's self-aware. And he's always honest, unless you married him. And then, hey, <laughs> you married him. <laughs> Honestly, him being in a Mexican whorehouse is just easier on everybody. Except for Dad's urologist. Okay, Doc, I was in Juarez, and I got a dose of habaneros taquitos. I need something very strong to turn this hammer back into a churro, because I got a date with a little honey on Thursday. Andale! Son. Now that you're out, I, I, I want to say something without getting too serious. Christopher, you have always, there's always, I never, the thing, look, uh, Dad can't speak English anymore. Dad, speak in Spanish and I will translate. You learn Spanish? I speak poquito but I sign Spanish, like the wind. Oh, I want to see this. Knock it off! Dad, Dad, listen. Don't, don't say anything, because every time you do, it's, you know, insensitive and racist. Yeah, just, you know, better yet, just allow me to uh, imagine you saying something that wouldn't, you know, start a nationwide protest. <laughs> Hey, just save all the insults till tomorrow, Pop. Yeah, you are a soul killer, Mr. Titus. <laughs> Let me talk. I can be nice. You don't think I can be nice? I can't be nice. I can't be nice. Dave, he's speaking English. <laughs> okay. Look, this is tough for me to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like otorhinolaryngologist or anemone? There are no signs for either of those words. Dad, Dad, look, we know that you're not good with emotions, you know? Oh, except for Fury. Oh, oh yeah, Fury. You're Fury down. Oh. Killing some Fury, Big bro. Big like Fury. Big room. Wow, Moby Swish. Dick of Fury. Yeah, biblical. My dad was born without a filter. You know that little flap in your brain that stops you from saying mean and brutal things to your loved ones so they don't suck on a shotgun? And because of that, Dave and I are immune to the challenges and nightmares of the chaotic life we've had. That's what my therapist said. Well, actually, he said, your dad's a psycho! But, uh, <laughs> I knew what he meant. Oh, so then dad uh, married stepmom number six, 
Oh, and then mom number one shot that guy in the church. <laughs> oh, it was actually her fiance. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, it's okay. They don't work out. And look, these shackles make my ankles look fat. <laughs> Can we get a therapist for the therapist? <laughs> when you're in therapy, <laughs> never be honest because uh, <laughs> they will use that honesty against you and keep you in the mental hospital longer. Oh, and always say, I don't think I'm a danger to myself and others. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta tell you, faking honesty or lying in therapy got me enough happy face stickers for a coloring book. <laughs> yeah, you rock Fury, Dad. You can win a Tony for Fury, Mr. Titus. That's the highest award they bestow on Broadway. Can it, Jazz Hands? Son, I just want to say that you taking the rap for us and being locked up for so long was pretty humbling. You're a better man than I am. Yeah, no, right. well, don't without saying that's ridiculous. Saying, I mean, he saying, knows God people are. Uh, worse than everything. Right. Right. Don't did. zap us. Well, at least I said it. Hello, senorita. Wow. That teaster was good, delicious. Anyway, I can't be that bad. I, I hope you survived your mother. You survived being brain dead. And I taught you about women. I have roughly a 780 lifetime average on scoring the poogie. What's your uh, STD batting average, Dad? Uh, I call that forced error. It's about 24%. <laughs> wow. You know, I regret it every minute being in there, Dad, but to get out and hear you compliment yourself and refer to women as pooty, wow. <laughs> it was totally worth eight years of my life. I don't want to touch a... Uh, hey, Dad, I love you. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, no me sorprendos, papi. <laughs> Hey, uh, Titus, um, I need to talk to you about something. Um, you know, we've, we've been friends for, like, forever, and so I really need you to listen. Uh, Titus? You know, the place is really different. <laughs> like, like, it's pretty crazy. How did you keep it open? Uh, you just kept telling me, don't worry about it. I don't sound like that. <laughs> I went into the wacko basket to save my family from prosecution. <laughs> Turning my business over to Dave and Dad, was my nightmare. <laughs> Imagine taking your dream and handing it to the most irresponsible human you know and the guy that trained him. Live and learn. Never put a fire pit next to a grease pit. Thank God there's insurance. Well, I use the insurance to buy the fire pits. Whenever I was in the mental hospital, I slept. And I would have nightmares about Dave ruining my business. Waking up screaming in a mental facility is never considered progress. Well, you know what, Tommy? Uh, you changed the place a lot, but at least it's still here. I gotta be honest with you, man. You did a great job. Well, honestly, Dave worked hard. He actually had a couple of weird but brilliant ideas. Well, I'm not a total idiot. I'm not taking this one it's too easy. I built a robot dad. What, what the f***? Knock it off! Oh, my God. So, all right. So where are all my cars? We sold them. We had to, to keep the shop open. All of them? Well, not the doom buggy. Yeah, but, okay. Mm. But you, you are a master at building cars. You're gonna be fine, Titus, even if you end up all alone. Wow, stop kissing my ass. And why do you sound so guilty? Well, what, 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 what do I have to be guilty about? Hey, hey, that's between you and the guy in the next stall. You know what? <laughs> Tommy, don't get mad. Therapy taught me that it's just dad being dead. What kind of therapy they do on you? Lobotomy, waterboarding, electroshock? You didn't make it good. Who is not even touching it? I know, but you attach metal to you. So you've turned yourself into a human lightning rod. Damn you, science. No, they didn't do anything to me, guys. They just gave me a little bit of medication. And all it does is make me see things a little less annoying. And oh my God, does it work. <laughs> so how did you keep the shop open? Well, all right, at first we turned the whole place into laser tag. And that went, uh, well. Uh... Yeah, and then we upgraded to high velocity paintball. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, 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 hey! 
I'm Dave from Dave's Laser Tag. Everybody knows that you gotta have lasers to have a killer party. So come on down to Dave's Laser Tag. And Tommy. We now have high velocity paintball guns and goggles not required. What? We're so much fun, we're not even licensed. We're in litigation. Dave's Laser Tag. And Tommy. Oh no. What? The insurance paid off? And the kid got 80% of his side back. I'm 80%? Dude, that's like a B plus in report card years. Wait, 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 whoa. Are you telling me that a kid lost his eye? We found it, bagged it, iced it, reinstalled it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then after that, uh, we opened a massage parlor slash oil change place. Called it Dave's Lube and Rub. Oh, I don't even want to know. No, good, because the judge said we can't talk about it. <laughs> Dodged a bullet on that one. I miss Ming Lao. She was my Asian Mulan. Dad, Mulan is Asian. That's what I said, moron. That girl really knew how to change a filter. Oh, God. No, 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 no. And then we got into weed. Medical cannabis, to be exact. We put in uh, grow lights and a hydroponic timing system, just creating the perfect climate. And then the advances we made in CBD combinations and the healing properties of cannabinoids really showed that, you know, maybe we don't need to invest in a culture of synthetic drugs, but instead can heal with a natural, non-addictive solution that is healthy and antiviral at a uh, cellular level. You found your thing! Dave, you, you're the pot whisperer! <laughs> right? Dave was amazing. His insight for marijuana is stunning. I just managed his genius and we made a ton of money. Tell him the rest. Oh no. No, 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 so, so since I was a 50-50 investor, and once we realized the stuff that Dave was growing was otherworldly, I just, I just shopped around and found the best medical labs and the best research companies, and then we just put Tommy it all... made a great deal, then sold out. We all made a ton of money. I wish Tommy was my son. <laughs> yeah, well, he doesn't. Thanks, Dad, for holding off the insults till tomorrow. I already feel like I'm at home. So, Dave, wait, this is amazing. You, you started your own business and sold it for a profit? I sold the business. Titus, things have changed around here. But, but that's awesome for both of you guys. And you made all that money? Did you buy my cars back? <laughs> <laughs> hell, hell no, no. We invested, we bought stock, we rode the paper tiger. Wow. You guys do know that I went in a mental hospital for you, right? I got my profit and product. <laughs> this is the telling the rest part. Got it. You know that Bible verse, don't get high in your own supply? Dave, that's not... <laughs> yes, I'm aware of the verse. Well, I did it. And Satan, Satan had me in his watery tentacles. But I broke free, I quit. Well, good. Because he ran out of weed. You can always grow more. No! We signed a 10-year non-compete clause. Dave, a non-compete clause. Means Me that Dave can't get high for 10 years. You can't smoke pot for 10 years. That's what non-compete means. And see, I, I, I just can't take it. So dad said he's gonna show me another way. Your brother is following me to Nirvana. <laughs> really? Beer Nirvana, dad. So Dave can follow the sudsy rainbow to divorce and heart attacks. Worked so far. Uh, Cheers. If one of your parents has mental illness, there's a 15 to 25 percent chance you will too. If one of your parents is an alcoholic, there's a 50 percent chance you're going to be one too. <laughs> I have both. <laughs> In fact, the only reason I'm not a drunk psycho or a drug addict is because of one person. She loves me. And she kept me sane. While, while I was in a mental institution. <laughs> well, I can't get a real job because I've been in a mental institution for eight years because of you guys. So what I've decided to do is start building cars again. And big announcement, I've decided to propose to Aaron. <laughs> no um, way. <laughs> Relax, Pride Parade. Let him see his girl. You can feed him grapes later. Just shut up, old man. Shut up? Old? Just. <laughs> Tommy, look, it's time. 
I mean, I've been going out with Aaron for years. Eight of those years were in a crazy house. Oh, but who's counting years, even though for the last eight, you were locked up eating pudding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How much pudding? Good for you, son. I'm glad. It's just pudding, Dad. <laughs> been telling you to get a life, and you did it. A woman you love, a job you're good at. Good for you. It's what a real man does. Thank you. Then, when things get saggy, divorce him and do it again. Hey, hey, hey. I brought you your favorite lunch. Dave. Christopher. <laughs> you weren't supposed to be here until next week. Babe. I know. <laughs> Pagan calendar. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, actually, it's, uh, it's Wiccan. Fire! <laughs> wow, things got right back to abnormal. Hello, Christopher. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Babe, I gotta tell you something. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Aaron, will you marry Christopher, me? Christopher, we really need to talk. What the hell? It's nice. I especially like the glitter. Is that bow tie pasta? Yeah, I made it noodle therapy. I got three smiley face stickers for that. <laughs> but I'm home now, and I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna start building some wicked rides, make some money using my skill, and, and, and look, all my tools are here, and come here! And my best buddy, Tommy. Titus, Titus. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll need a raise. Shut up! I know that you ruined his life, and you're ruining it! Dad! Aaron, will you marry I'm me? I'm in love with Tommy! Thank mm -hmm. you.